Hello everyone. In this demo, we will implement hybrid DNS with AWS Route 53. Let's look at the architecture diagram. We already have a site-to-site -site VPN implemented for connectivity between AWS and OCI. You can also implement fast connect private pairing. And for hybrid DNS, we will implement resolver endpoints on both the clouds. Let's go to the cloud console for the implementation. The VPN status is up on both the clouds. Let's do the connectivity test. I have logged into the compute instances running on both the clouds. First, we will do the connectivity test using ping command. We can see that the connectivity has been established successfully. Next, we will test the name resolution using nslookup command. We can see that the name resolution is not working. We will now go to the cloud console to implement the resolution endpoints. I have logged into the OCI console. Go to the menu, networking, click on virtual cloud networks. Select the VCN, click on the DNS resolver, click on the endpoints, click on create endpoints, give a name. Select the subnet for the endpoint. This is the listening endpoint. So we will select endpoint type listening. We can skip the optional and click on create endpoints. The listening endpoint is in creating state. Give it a minute. We can see that the listening endpoint has been provisioned and it has been assigned an IP address. We will now go to the AWS console to implement an outbound endpoint on route 53. I have logged into the AWS console. Click on route 53. Click on outbound endpoints. Click on create outbound endpoint. Give a name. Select the VPC. Select the security group to allow traffic from OCI. Select the endpoint type. And leave the default protocol for this endpoint that is DNS over port 53. Select the availability zone for the first IP address. Select the subnet. Select the availability zone for the second IP address and select the respective subnet. Leave the optional and click on create outbound endpoint. The outbound endpoint is in creating state. Give it a minute to get provisioned. The outbound endpoint has been provisioned. Click on it. Scroll down. Now we will create a rule for the forwarding endpoint. Give a name. The rule type is forward. Enter the domain name that is oraclevcn.com. Select the VPC and select the outbound endpoint. Scroll down. The target IP address would be OCI listener endpoint IP address. Click on submit. So far, we have implemented the outbound endpoint on AWS and the listener endpoint on OCI. Let's go to the compute instances for the test. We are on compute instances running on AWS and OCI. Let's proceed with the test. We can see that we are now able to resolve the OCI FQDN from AWS. Let's test if we are able to resolve the AWS FQDN from OCI. As expected, it is not working because we have not implemented the forwarder and inbound endpoints on OCI and AWS respectively. Let's go to the cloud console and complete the remaining setup. I am on the AWS cloud console. Click on route 53. Click on inbound endpoints. 
click on create inbound endpoint give a name select the vpc select the security group to accept the traffic from oci select the endpoint type and leave the default protocol for this endpoint that is dns over port 53 scroll down select the availability zone for the first ip address and the subnet select the availability zone for the second ip address and the respective subnet and click on create inbound endpoint the inbound endpoint has been created click on it we can see the ip addresses for the inbound endpoint now we will go to the oci console and create forwarder endpoint we are now on the oci vcn click on dns resolver click on endpoints click create endpoint give a name select the subnet select the endpoint type as forwarding and click on create endpoint the oci forwarder endpoint is in creating state give it a minute the forwarder endpoint has been created and it has been assigned an ip address now we will create a rule for this forwarder click on rules click on manage rules select domains enter the fqdn of aws ec2 instance select the forwarder endpoint we just created the destination ip address will be the aws route 53 inbound ip address click on save changes the oci resolver is in updating state give it a minute now the resolver is in active state and we can see the forwarder rule has been updated let's go to the compute instances for the test i am on the compute instances let's try resolving the aws ec2 fqdn from oci as you can see after adding the forwarding endpoint on oci everything works as expected and the test that was failing earlier is now working this concludes our demo i hope it's been informative thank you for watching